a view that de-escalation is the only safe and therefore the most desirable way to resolve the protests at the Wellington Parliament. Our current assessment is that the situation where any enforcement action is taken runs the risk of much wider harm than the protest itself is presently generating. We continue to carefully create options to reopen roads, but the most desirable way to end this safely is through open communication channels and negotiation. Yesterday's statement from the Speaker of the House has provided a window of opportunity for protesters who wish to have their views heard by Parliament to clear the roads and restrict access to Parliament grounds. Police has had constructive engagement with some key protest leaders following the re release of the statement, and our focus is to deepen those discussions. In the current circumstances, enforcement action taken by police runs the real risk of injury to the public, escalation in numbers of people, and a transition away from a largely peaceful protest to violence. In our assessment, the only safe option at the present point in time is continued focus on de-escalation. As the protest enters its 11th day, we continue to make progress in engaging with key groups. While there are no incidents to note overnight, we remain concerned at the road blockages caused by protest vehicles and the inability of emergency services to access through roads. The number of people and structures has continued to grow over the past 24 hours. We also anticipate a significant number of people joining the protest over the weekend. We recognise that the ongoing impact from the protests, particularly on residents and users in the surrounding area, is significant. We have increased our patrols and will maintain a highly visible reassurance presence. Today we will be putting in place a traffic management plan to control vehicle numbers to ensure that fire and ambulance are able to access the site. The option to move vehicles to Sky Stadium remains open and we encourage people to make greater use of this so that people who live and work in the area can go about their lawful business unimpeded by protest activity. Police will continue to focus on keeping the peace, maintaining safety and engaging with the protesters over the coming weekend. I want to acknowledge our staff, many of whom have travelled at short notice for what has been a challenging assignment. They have conducted themselves in an incredibly professional and reassuring manner.